Hi family, it's Christy with Designs for Diva and in today's video, I am going to be making um, a ricotta bake um, for my puree phase two. As um, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I just had weight loss surgery, actually a revision to my previous weight loss surgery. And so I'm going through the weight loss phases. Phase one after surgery is full of liquids. Phase two is puree foods. And so this is a, I thought I'd share a recipe um, that I really like um, with you. Uh, this is not something that you have to make just because you've had weight loss surgery. Um, it's a very tasty uh, meal, quick meal, um, and you don't have to make it the way that I make it. You can add meat to it. Um, I could see it being good with pepperoni, with ground beef, with Italian sausage. However, in phase two, we can't have any of those types meat type meats unless they're pureed. So I'm going to be making a meatless ricotta bake, and um, I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around so that you can watch me prepare it. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's what we'll be using for our ricotta bake. I have eight ounces or one cup, uh, where's the cup? One cup of ricotta bake, any brand you like. I use the Walmart brand, um, half a cup, uh, might be just a little more than half a cup of marinara sauce. The kind that I use is the Prego Farmer's Market Classic Marinara. We're going to be using a half a cup of mozzarella cheese, any brand you like, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and then I have pink Himalayan salt and black peppercorn ground, black peppercorn to taste. We're also gonna use one large egg beaten. So I'm gonna grab the egg and then I'm going to start putting the bake together. All right, so we have one large egg. Gonna crack that in there. And let me just get something to whip it with. I guess I'll just use my spoon. Not really scrambling it, really this is beating since we're not cooking. We're gonna blend it really good till it almost becomes frothy. Alright, so there's the egg. Now we're going to start adding our ingredients. It's one cup of ricotta cheese. We're, you're going to add everything in here except for the marinara. So we'll go ahead and add our seasonings, and I think I used two tablespoons instead of two teaspoons, so I'm only gonna use half of that. Um, we're going to do half a cup of mozzarella cheese. And we're going to use half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. You can shred it or grate it. It's up to you. Alright. Half a cup. Stir that really well. Get all the flavors, all the seasonings and everything. That's my oven letting me know that it's preheated. I 
you preheat to 450. And I turned that on before I turned the camera on because at times my oven is um, energy efficient so it takes a little while to get it heated up. So I turned it on earlier so it'd be ready when we are ready. All right, so we're getting that blended. Now the recipe doesn't call for greasing the pan. And it's up to you if you do that or not. You don't have to. But I'm gonna step outside the recipe and put a little cheese on top. And I don't want it to, I want it to slide off, so. I grease my pan with some Pam Original. Uh, cooking spray. And I'm gonna fold this ricotta bake. It doesn't make a lot by a regular person's stomach, but this is gonna be a few meals for me. So this is what it looks like. Probably should have got a smaller Let's see if I have a smaller. Oh, great. I do have a smaller container. This is perfect. Just got an extra dish to wash. So, Here's what it looks like. Make that even. And then we're gonna put half a cup of marinara sauce on the top. And then the last thing we'll do, I'm gonna put a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese on the top. And again, the recipe doesn't call for a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese on the top, but I am tweaking this recipe to my liking. Okay, spread that out a little bit. And there you have it. That is the ricotta bake before it goes in the oven. Um, so we are going, again, the oven has been preheated to 450. Ooh, that's hot. We're gonna put that in there. That's my catch pan, y'all. It stays in there. <laughs> and I am gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. All right, I'll see you in 20 minutes. 20 minutes is up. This is what it looks like. You can still see it bubbling. The cheese just really started melting, but I don't want it to get hard because my stomach is not ready for that. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like out of the oven. And we're gonna let it cool for about 10 minutes or so. And then I'll come back and we'll see uh, we'll see what it looks like. All right, it looks so good so far, y'all. Look at that. Just out of the oven, and it looks delicious. Cheese just started melting. 
I can't do um, in phase two the hard crunchy cheese. Um, so I didn't let it stay any longer. It looks amazing. Let's let it cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna eyeball two ounces. And it's good and creamy. So, that's about what two ounces looks like, okay? So this is gonna be my dinner tonight and I'm gonna wrap this up. This would probably make about, I don't know, this would probably make about, probably 10 servings, but I don't have the little containers. So, what we'll do is just, we'll go ahead and test it and I'll end the video here. That's what it looks like. That's what I needed in my life, y'all. That is so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please try this um, in the comfort of your own home. It is really tasty. And I'm really hungry, but it's really tasty. I could see this with some pepperoni. I could see a meat lovers with ground beef, pepperoni, and Italian sausage. Ground turkey. Just whatever you like. It is so good. It's a quick meal, and it's really tasty. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. I'll see you in the next one.